Okay, so what's on the docket today? It's a comparative analysis of my titanium bike, the number 22 Great Divide, up against its steel challenger, my custom-built Mariposa road bike. On paper, they're very similar, but in reality, hmm. In a head-to-head -head battle, how do these two bikes measure up? Titanium up against steel. Who's gonna come out victorious? First up, what I wanna do is show you the similarities between the two bikes, because really, they are very similar in terms of how I've spec'd them out. We'll look at the various components on the two bikes, and you will see that they are very similar. So what does it come down to? I think ultimately it's gonna come down to frame material. We'll talk about the ride feel between the two different bikes. I also wanna to touch on the ergonomics of those hoods, Shimano versus SRAM. I think there's a lot of content on YouTube about this, even on the internets as a whole. But um, because of these smaller mitts, I do notice a difference between those Shimano hoods and the SRAM ones. We'll, we'll touch on that as well. Montage sequence of similarities. Let's start with the number 22. Migrate over to the Mariposa. Let's do it. And now let's have a look at the steel Mariposa. Now the differences. So there you have it. Similarities and dissimilarities. I'd say the bikes have more in common, but uh, I think it's a pretty good test to see so sure, they both have carbon fiber cockpits, seat posts, wheels, but not only that, they're from the same manufacturer. So I intentionally, in preparation for this video, I intentionally didn't ride the steel bike this week. I've exclusively been on the number 22 titanium bike. And yeah, there's a difference. So let's dig into that a little bit to see where those differences lie. Ultimately, steel is going to ride different than titanium. Both are going to ride different than carbon, for obvious reasons. But how much, and I'm struggling with this a little bit, how much does tire choice make a difference to the ride feel? It's huge, right? I'm talking about the diameter of the tires and tire pressure. More on that. Out on a little noodle with the missus. Say hello. It's a long weekend in Canada. Woohoo! Long weekend. It's Victoria Day? Yeah, Victoria Day weekend. Perhaps soon to be renamed. To? I don't know. Uh, Charles? Spring long weekend? Yeah. I'm actually getting rid of the monarchy things. Happy Spring Day? Yeah, Victoria Day long weekend. We're up in the Gatineau Park again, because this place is awesome. Still close to traffic for the most part, but there are... Um, buses. Loto bus, shuttle buses, taking people up uh, to the scenic parts of the park. Yeah, so uh, it's Sunday and we're off tomorrow. Probably do something similar tomorrow. Yeah, it's a little chillier tomorrow, so yeah. we'll see. We'll look different at least. We'll look bundled. I'll so, get your warmer back. <laughs> Not gonna lie, uh, a little hungover today. Maybe a little bit. But uh, that's okay because it's all in celebration of Victoria. Summer cottage weekend day. <laughs> uh, I want to mention though, there, there, uh, there was a petition to open up the Gats to vehicles um, that was created by hikers. Uh, because they wanted to have greater access to some of the further reaches of the park and the shuttle bus and a little shift in hours was the compromise so i think it's really great that a compromise was reached that allows us to cycle up here safely and gives hikers the access they want wow i just wanted to throw that out well there. we are canadians we are canadians and we're all sorry <laughs> we are canadians and we're all about apologizing and compromise eh? 
eh? <laughs> or a boat to get on our bikes and go out. To the route. <laughs> <laughs> okay, enough, uh, enough stereotype. Lollygagging. Lollygagging. I've caught my breath. Let's get going. Okay, so real quick on the ergonomics of these hoods slash shifters. This obviously is the SRAM Red version. And what I want to highlight is basically this big chunk of cheddar cheese that is sitting on the top here. So as you can see from the Shimano version, it's much more tapered and a little bit smaller, less cheddar cheese, maybe brie. <laughs> but when you've got little mitts like these, the, it's a little bit more of an effort to get my hand around the hood here and to reach out for the brake levers. So maybe my viewers with bigger bear claws don't have an issue with this, but uh, my viewers who have smaller hands like me uh, and use the SRAM hoods may have come across this issue in the past. And again, there's quite a bit of content on the internets about um, the, um, the poor ergonomics of the SRAM hoods. Now, Apparently, the new SRAM Force Grupo have addressed this, and the hoods are uh, much more um, ergonomically pleasing to those of us who have small hands. You're ergonomically pleasing. Thank you. Is this a showstopper? Hell no, it's not a showstopper. Better than Durace? Maybe that's content for another video. So wrapping up this video, the original intent was to talk about the ride feel and the difference. Titanium versus steel, who came out the winner? I don't think there is a clear winner at the end of the day. They're just different rides and they're just different ride feels. And again, I'm not comparing everyone's titanium bikes. I'm not comparing everyone's steel bikes. This is purely subjective from my opinion, from my rides on my two bikes, the number 22 Great Divide and this Mariposa Steel. So at the end of the day, I found that the titanium bike is stiffer than the steel bike. You know, I don't think that's earth shattering news. This steel bike is lighter than my titanium bike, which may be a little alarming or shocking to some. The ride feel, I personally, subjectively, I think the ride feel is softer and more compliant with the steel bike versus the titanium bike. Now, as I said earlier in the video, tire choice and the amount of air you're putting in those tires certainly comes down to the ride comfort. But if you subtract all of that, if you subtract the carbon cockpit, this carbon seat post, the carbon wheels, ultimately, I think that the steel bike is more comfortable than the titanium bike. Who's the winner? I'm the winner.